Guys, fans, uh, guys, fans on, and it's a mess. But today's just just a quick, unprepared, unrehearsed video of a Radeon a 560 unboxing. Or it's, I'm sorry, RX 460, and then uh, install in the uh, P3 and the weird modifications I had to make. All right, just a quick, noisy, unprepared video. Okay, guys, we're on here. It's Monday. Uh, I got this graphics card. Um, from Amazon Warehouse for 70 bucks and uh, we'll unbox it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a 2 gig uh, DDR4 uh, 1080 got a HDMI DVI all that good stuff, output. It's a little card, 10.5 inches across and uh, for the price, you can't beat it. And it doesn't require, a, 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 it gets off PCI power for PCI slot. No extra cable required for power. So uh, we'll pop it in the P3 build and see how she does. Yeah, it's a 2 gig uh, DDR4, uh, 1080, got a... HDMI, DVI, all that good stuff, output. It's a little card, 10.5 inches across. And uh, for the price, you can't beat it. And it doesn't require, a, 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 it gets off PCI power for PCI slot, no extra cable required for power. So uh, we'll pop it in the P3 build and see how she does. As you can see, I. I changed things around once again. Editing system, small computer, which is going to, small screen, which is going to get an arm, which can also go to this screen simultaneously. Wireless keyboard, mouse, everything else is the same, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll get this graphics card and this P3 and see how she works. At least if we get the BIOS stuff, then we can do uh, some hard drives and Windows. And I was thinking, this is a uh, a water cooler tray. I was thinking I could put uh, that goes under the fans. I think that would be a good spot to put uh, SSDs. I could put three SSDs on there or one SSD and a hard drive. So it's right on the top and the cable can be buried real easy. Could look really cool. Alright guys. Sorry guys, air conditioning's on again. I had to use a wired keyboard and mouse, but I uh, got this card in there. The way it mounts is upside down, which is a drag, but BIOS is up and running. I'm surprised. I had some trouble with it. I had to reseat the RAM like three times, but it uh, wouldn't come up. And uh, just went to the basics, but uh, she's basically up and running, and uh, we're going to go from there. All right, guys, my $79 graphics card looks pretty good. We'll see how we do. Yeah, so we got the BIOS going. Like I said, I had trouble with the RAM in there. It didn't seat properly, so it was driving me nuts, but I got it. I put the little speaker in. It'll give you the beeps for errors, so I thought it might not be a bad thing while I'm troubleshooting. And uh, I checked all the ports. Uh, USBs front and rear and the reset buttons all that stuff everything's right so next thing I have to do is find some storage devices and uh, some SSDs or hard drives and uh, what else and then load Windows and then go from there maybe I'll make it a Linux system I'm not sure but she's good she's quiet runs good fun I gotta figure out a better way to mount this board because so far none of the I/O plates fit properly so I have to mount it by that all right guys I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a little while. So this is the latest uh, and greatest. I want to get some memory and uh, some more memory and, uh, and SSD and a hard drive. I'll do Windows and give you an update on it and play some games, see how she does. But staying cool, everything's good. Just running it. All the USB ports, all the ports are working. And this little card is pretty cool. This is a Sapphire uh, Radeon, I think a 560. Decent card, 70 bucks. Free shipping. <laughs> Alright guys, out for now. Hey guys, we're on here. So, uh, I didn't have a hard drive, but uh, I had an old laptop. And I had a SATA drive. It's like 3 gigs. But I got Windows on it. So this is up and running Windows now. Unbelievable. Just having fun. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. You know, you, you run out of money, you go, you recycle. It's an old, it's an old laptop I had down there. Uh, a, a Dell Vostro. So, I just grabbed the drive out that's going to load Windows on it. It's already got Windows 10 I put on there. Plus it's got a uh, HitFilm 4 editing. 
So, uh, that's a little, <laughs> that was fun. So she's up and running, just for the hell of it. You know, so that's good for now. All right, guys, I'll check back with you later. Also, I'm having trouble with the audio, but that's next. It works for the headphones, and it's not going through the HDMI. That's project number two. Hey, guys, Ron here, fans on, making noise. Just want to show you the final configuration for temporary. 285 gig uh, laptop hard drive. Everything else is up and running, and uh, she's looking good. So I'll get an SSD when I can and a couple of three terabyte hard drives, throw them in there. But I thought this was a good experiment. So I was able to get her up and running. I had to troubleshoot the HDMI out. I couldn't get audio out. I got headphones out. So I went into the BIOS. I had to change it. So you can look for that sometimes. Otherwise, she's been great. Everything's working nice. And uh, if she turns out good, I'll upgrade this to a faster CPU and better graphics card. But a lot of fun. All right, guys. Experiment and done. There you go. All right, out for now.